Hey everyone, this is uh, Metalhead Nation 1021, and today I just wanted to talk about uh, an album that I listened to recently. Uh, I have an Instagram called uh, Metal Album Reviews One, Metal Underscore Album Underscore Reviews One, all in undercase, and I have a pretty good following on there. And as the name implies, I do metal album reviews on there, but I kind of want to split some of the content between that and my own channel here on YouTube, so my Instagram and my YouTube channel. So I'm going to be talking about, this is more of a relaxed talking about, well that's to be more of a formal review, but today I kind of wanted to talk about uh, Megadeth's Peace Cells. Uh, I was, well actually, okay, I'll say the full title, Megadeth Peace Cells, but who's buying? This was released in 86, I think, yep. Uh, 1986, this was their sophomore album, if I'm not mistaken, I think it was uh, Killing Is My Business and Business Is Good that came before this, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, this is when they had uh, Dave Mustaine and Dave Elfson are still there, uh, but then back then they had Chris Poland and Gar Samuelson, if I'm not mistaken, if I'm not saying that right. Uh, and I personally really like uh, Gar's drumming on this album. I guess this will be the start of the really like, the review part. Uh, the first thing I want to talk about is the drums. I really like the like the drumming style on this album. Uh, Gar is just kind of like those uh, kind of drum rolls and the cymbal hits, the spastic cymbal hits. I really like that. I think it's on the song uh, "My Last Words." Uh, he has that one part. Yeah, I like that. I I that really appealed to me. And uh, the YouTuber 66 Samus, uh, when he did his uh, influential metal drummers list, uh, he did an example of that. I didn't know where it was from at first, but yeah, I. Some of the things I want to point out about this album is that I like the the, temp the tempos in the songs are sl slower tempoed, in my opinion, than most other albums, which doesn't take away or add anything to the album. It's just a, like a difference of styles. Uh, I really like the album artwork. It's iconic. Everybody knows this. Uh, I like the back album artwork too. And the inner sleeve. Has that uh, lineup again right there. And then smaller. I think this is an older pressing if I'm not mistaken. I don't know exactly when it's from, but it kind of contains all this information right here. The thanks to what they used, the members, the uh, list of the songs. Then it has the pages of the lyrics. And I looked at this, and I looked through the songs, and I... Well, this is just kind of off topic of the review itself. But what I was thinking was they have uh, two songs labeled as explicit and only one of them actually has an ex like explicit content in my eyes. I guess the second one, uh, which was, the second one was My Last Words. It might have been due to, I think it really took on like a Russian roulette kind of, or roulette kind of uh, feeling, uh, kind of, I think that's what they were implying in that song. I haven't done a lot of research on it. But anyways, that was just one thing I noticed. What I would like to say though was I really liked the guitar tone on this album. I thought that, uh, Mm, I want to say it's Good Morning Black Friday. Yeah, I, th I, I think that's the song. Mm, this is the guitar tone. And then there's obviously the Peace Cells song. That's famous. Uh, the solo and stuff. On just One of the things I really do like about this album are the solo parts. I mean, there's even a part on, uh, I think it's the second half of the album, that actually sounds like one by Metallica. They're a little, like, just a little slower, maybe about... 30 BPM slower, and I really enjoyed that part. Uh, the guitar tone on here I found really unique, and I really liked the uh, effects used on some of the lead. Uh, the The lead moments were were what really caught my ear on this album. Uh, the riffs were pretty interesting, but it was really the leads. Uh, I think this was an album that was more mixed with like Chris Poland and. Uh, I'm saying his name, yeah, Chris Poland and Dave Mustaine. 
than some of the other albums, which are like mostly just Dave. I mean, uh, mostly just the the other guitarists in the band, like Marty Friedman. This is kind of more split between the two, I think. That's what I kind of noticed. Uh, the drumming at times and certain parts at times felt a little stale, but very few times. In fact, uh, it was mostly just uh, originality, and it was just recently that it was my first time hearing the album in full. So that was a decent surprise to hear that. I, I really did enjoy this album. Uh, there's not much else I can really say about it. There wasn't a ton of stuff that really caught me off guard. Uh, and it wasn't the most memorable al album by any stretch of the imagination. But it was definitely a great album to listen to. I really enjoyed it. Uh, I definitely re-listened to that uh, anytime. And I'm going to, I guess, I'm going to kind of rate pretty, I'm going to rate the songs pretty hard on this channel. I'll give that an 8.8. Six out of ten, so yeah, eight point six out of ten. Uh, I enjoyed it. There weren't a lot of memorable moments for me. I understand this is a legendary album, and I understand the status that they built off of uh, their first few albums. Uh, I just felt like if you put this up against uh, "Rest in Peace," which is what I'm basically using as my uh, measurement system for this, I just it isn't near as uh, memorable and iconic, but it's definitely a great album. I really like the album. It's just it doesn't really stack up to some of Megadeth's other uh, discography. But it definitely is uh, quite a bit better than some of the stuff they've released. Uh, I do enjoy Mustaine's vocals. I don't see why people really have a problem with that. I, I can understand a little bit, but I, I feel like... Uh, they're at least tolerable, and I actually enjoy them, so uh, I don't really know. But anyways, it gets an 8.6 out of 10. It's uh, Megadeth Peace Sells, but who's buying? And really did enjoy this album. I'm going to give it another listen soon, probably. I should probably listen to all the albums I haven't finished yet first. I don't know. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. This is Metalhead Nation 1021 signing out.